this is a quick note of how to process PostMV raw data using Postpack MMS uh, version 8.7. In this note, uh, we want to have three parts. Part one is data preparation. So we need to have Postpack MMS software install. So here I have the software install already. I need to have uh, PostMV raw data ready. So here I have PostMV raw data ready in this location. So here is Postpack data. Uh, so this is the uh, Postpack MMS software. This is the uh, data location. With the format is dot. 000. The next thing is that I need to create a new empty project inside Postback. So go to File, go to New, choose an empty project and hit OK. Next, I'm going to grab a data file, a raw data file, and uh, drag and drop it into Postpack MMS. The software will automatically connect to the internet and trying to download all the GPS and fMRIs and um, all other related uh, uh, and for the section. This is uh, maybe helpful for post-processing later but I think for the method that we are using we actually don't need the internet connection for this so we can cancel if it takes too long for us. So the next step is that uh, the software will ask about the rover antenna specification. So uh, based on the information I have, the rover antenna specification for this one is uh, 540 AP, which is this one, and hit OK. So we have a warning which is called IMU data continuity check complete with one or more warnings. So please view the appropriate message for log details. I'm not sure what this one so I just hit OK and uh, ignore it for now. So this is a track plot of uh, the raw data. The next step we can do is we can uh, check the information of this one. We can go to imported file, uh, go to the file name and right click and choose properties. On the right here we can check the file name and the information uh, in particular which is the date time to make sure that the file name and the content of the file is matching. So here we have the file name is 2022 April 23rd and the start time is the same day so which is correct so that means we don't need to change the file name. So the next step we want to save the project into the location that we want to do it. So here I have under data I have Postpack and I have Postpack project and I just name the project as the same name as the input raw data file because Postpack only allow one one section at a time so we can only work with one raw zero zero file at one section so after we have that the next thing we need to do is we need to download and get the base station which is called the base station data file 
So how to do this? Firstly, we need to know where is the date the survey area. So because uh, we know that this survey area is around Dampier in the northern part of uh, Western Australia. So we can go to this website, which is called earthquart.ga.gov.au uh, status. And we can look for the nearby station. So here we can see that uh, there are several base station, uh, GNNS base station nearby. So after some investigation, I found that uh, only two station uh, that have uh, data available for us to download, which is this one called uh, WLAL0AUSO uh, Walla, and the other one here called Tom P O O A U S O Tom Price. So I think these two stations are not optimal but I checked the other one in Port Headland next to uh, Karnarata and its mouth but the data are not available so next is we want to download the data for these station, the two station so in order to download data for these two station we need to go to this website which is called data.gnns.ga.gov.au docs home data access and then they have the some instruction about how to download data there so the method that I do which is FTP method so I just add it I add it by I add into my local computer here so I can download it um so in order to download it uh we can use this way we can copy the part of the ftp data and we can go to this PC and we can go to um, add a network location and then uh, we can choose a custom network location and when we have this we just uh, put in the, the address that I describe in the note here which is uh, FTP I hope that I have it FTP is in it, oh no, which is uh, FTP, yeah, so here I need to do this and then get back to the uh, folder yeah, and then it passes in there uh, okay, so just like this and then go next, so go next and then choose uh, log on anonymously and then just go next and then next and then finish but actually I did it already so I will cancel it and after I did it I will have um, something here in my computer and I can go here and I can go to daily and under daily I will have by year because this year's of survey is 2020 so under the year which is the day of the year so now I need to determine uh, the day of the year of the survey so in order to do that because we know that the survey day which is 23 April 2022 I will go to this website. I will put in a website called labsat.co.uk and I will put in uh, yeah actually there are many ways to determine the um, to convert from the normal date to uh, day of the year or Julian day 
but this is the way the one of the way that I do uh, I can use a Python function to convert this as well but this is everyone can do it so 2020 uh, which is April I think and 23 23 and then the hour which is uh, 5 uh, 52 52 and second is not uh, matter so I will convert to GPS time so when I convert it it will show me the GPS time but it will show me the GPS day of the year as well which is uh, 1 1 3 I check it using a Python function here which is date to the day of the year I can put in here which is 23 and then I run it which is uh, 113 so we know that uh, for this particular section the day of the year is 113 so we go to 113 in this uh, FTP download address location we go to 113 and we search for the station the base station that we uh, is that nearby the survey area as we discussed so because we know that there are two available base station which is Tom and uh, WLA so I just type in Tom here and it will show me two location here so I can copy it to the folder that I call base station data under post pack and I just copy to here so I did it already so all the base station data is in here so after doing that I already have the base station file so now this day which is uh, 2013 Julian day or day of the year uh, 113 I will look for that and I will wrap I will drag and drop both of these by station into post pack project there was some warning but I just ignore it for now so after drag it in I see that this is the first base station this is the second base station uh, this is the first this is the second one and this is survey data so I can see that the Tom P O O A U S is closer to the survey area. So I decided to choose this base station for uh, data processing. So the next step I'm going to do, which is start uh, doing the data processing, that we already finished the first part, which is uh, data preparation to start process the data we need to assign uh, a base station for this particular section so I will go to base station inside post pack here and I go to the base station that I want to select for data processing I will right click and choose set base station the software will process the data and checking the status and the data quality and it will uh, report the result of the GNSS observation so it will take about um, some second Yeah, it's actually taking longer than I think. I think it depends on the section and, and, and the, the duration of the section.
So the uh, UNSSQC state the statistics is finished and we can see here the quality is pretty good which is 99.6 percent is fixed solution so we hit OK and uh, up, we can see there's a flag here will tell us that this is the base station and then the next step is we want to go to project go to project setting we go to uh, level arm and we bring the level arm standard deviation to minimum this is just a re recommendation from the manual I'm not 100% sure why so we gonna go to next we're gonna go to GNSS initial processor and we choose the method which is infusion single base and then hit run to start processing so if we see this warning it uh, we just hit yes so this warning is because the uh, distance between the base station and the survey area is more than 20 kilometers but we can just ignore it for now and it will start processing the data so we can see here the real-time position accuracy is report here now we can see which is less than uh, 10 centimeter is about 5 centimeter which is pretty good So now the software is writing the result to SBET, so it's going to be finished soon. So now the processing is finished, so now we can see the result in report. And that uh, finishes the part two data processing. So now we can check the result. So the result can be checked in the report in the display plots. We can see many many results, but we the, the thing that we focus on checking, which is the smooth performance metrics, which is the uh, result after post processing. And here we can see that this is the GPS uh, second of the week and this is the uh, root mean square in the north direction. So I think uh, which is pretty good because here we have the uh, arrow is less than uh, 2 cm which is good. So we can go to view and go to statistics to see the uh, mean root mean square arrow minimum and the maximum so the mean root mean square row in this particular line which is just one two centimeter which is incredible so we do can do the same for uh, for the easting and northing and also the down position which is depth here or vertical positioning and then the next step we can do we can export all the result and report into a pdf file we go to report and hit QC report and we set the output location of the report in PDF format and hit generate the default location will be inside the uh, project inside the prospect project here 
inside the mission and report so when the report is finished exporting we can see a PDF file here So the report is finished, so we can open the report and we can see we inside the report here. So it looks like this. It will tell us the project name, the processing date, the mission date, which is a survey time, the processing mode or the method, which is single base method, infusion single base method, the GPS station, uh, which is a the station that we use for the processing, we set it in uh, in post pack the uh, software. We have some other information, which is the input raw data here, uh, and all other results. Uh, the aspect out uh, aspect directory file, which is aspect mission one, we can find is inside post here, and just looking for aspect which call aspect mission one dot out which is a file that we can import into camera to have the ppk result of multi-beam processing data so that is uh, for the one project so we can do the same for as a as a raw post pack uh, post mv 00 file data